Hey, what's up, everybody? We're gonna be talking with circular arrows today. My name is Shafi, and let's just jump into it. So we have an array here. This is an <coughs> a linear array. I hope you know what linear array is. It's a linear array of twelve objects. So we got zero to eleven here. So in linear array, you start at zero and you end at eleven. Um, to call a linear array, it's <coughs> Uh, first we initiated an array over here then we made a loop for loop to iterate over the arrays and <coughs> let's just comment these lines <coughs> and then we if we print this one uh, if we print this if we run this code we'll print all the elements of this array so this is a linear array but in a circular array this array never ends it keeps going circularly so <coughs> this thing and this thing 0 and 11th ones are actually connected and so <coughs> so after 0 after 11 it comes 0 it comes to 0 again so this this circular array does not exist <coughs> in uh, particular class so we need to use then use a linear array to uh, and make it a circular array so normally we can <coughs> do this by using <coughs> so what happens in circular array when you get to 11 you need to come back to 0 again right so we use an extra <coughs> condition here if i <coughs> equals to x dot length minus 1 the i the in this uh, index will become minus one and then it will increase to zero and then we will get the previous number uh, first number again let's check it if it works yeah see it's running on an infinite loop because it never ends anywhere um, <coughs> that's my whole point actually uh, we will uh, learn <coughs> how to code better next and we can do this without using this piece of code so what we need to understand is that <coughs> the use of by using mod by using modulus <coughs> if you mod any number if you mod any number so any number x by mod n you will get if um, if x is less than n it will be x less than n x mod n will be x and if x is equals to n then x mod n will be 0 <coughs> oh, by this way we can say that um, we can use this logic to <coughs> and remove this i plus plus. We will advance to the next, uh, <coughs> next one and next one and next one. And when we come to the last uh, last object, we will go back to zero. So, and this this logic will help us do that. Let's see how. In the increment or decrement section of for loop, we put i equals to i plus 1 that's the next <coughs> object i plus 1 modulus of the the length of the array so x dot length if we do this we are going to end up having the same thing i plus 1 
but when if you want to go backwards to it in a circular array you cannot go like this you need to <coughs> modulus operations won't work backwards it will only work forward for backwards you gotta do for int i is i equals to x dot length minus one then we have <coughs> and minus one then this will keep going until x is great less until x is greater than or equals to oh, wait x has to be not less than greater than or equals to zero and it will keep going until hmm. next <coughs> what we're gonna do we're gonna print out x of i and if x equals equals if i equals equals i uh, what the fuck? Well, if I equal equals to zero, then we will. What will we do? If I equals equals zero, then we will. <coughs> when I is equals to zero, we connect this to this one so how do we connect this to this one we need to put i equals to x dot length see after <coughs> so i equals to x dot length x dot length is x x dot length is equals to 12 equals to 12 so <coughs> when it comes to here, it because if i equals to zero, if it reaches zero, the <coughs> uh, we will make it length equal. Uh, we would make the i equals to length. So when it comes finishes this loop, it comes back here, and it goes back to eleven, and then we will run the loop again. Let's see if it works. Um, Sorry, for the uh -huh. okay. Let's let's iterate it backwards like this. Uh huh. Let's see what happens. Yay! I'm right. I hope you understood the what what we did here. So wrap it up once more. So we started. <coughs> we took an array, a linear array. We made it a circular array by. Okay, I was wrong. Let's run it again. So, let's go to top. So first it printed <coughs> see it starts printing from 85 89 to 85 45 54 1 then it goes back to 89 again it will keep going it will run infinitely until we reset this thing in the next lesson we are going to cover how to <coughs> use this circular array in real codes. Bye-bye.